Hello and welcome to this fourth video on logical reasoning. In this video, we will look at coding decoding type of questions. So let's get started. When it comes to coding decoding, you have to think like Sherlock. So what happens is, let's say, let's say there's alphabet A and they're saying A becomes, let's say C, B becomes D. What do you think E will become? Right? So a simple question like that. So what they're doing is, they are replacing an alphabet by another alphabet and it need not be one they could say let's say a c d for example and this is another question let's say a c d becomes b d e so he will say what will p q l become right so an alphabet is being replaced by another one so let's look at the first example here what happened so we know in the alphabets like from A to Z, A is at the first place where C is at the third place and B is at the second place and it's replaced by D which is at the fourth place. That means there's a jump of two here, right? Jump of two here as well, right? That means they are expecting us to make this also jump here. So E, F, G. So that means the answer could be G. Now this is extremely, extremely basic, but I'm saying this is what happens. Now let's look at this question. Same thing. A, C, D became B, D, E. So ultimately what happened? A, after A, what comes? B. So A plus 1 is happening, C plus 1 is happening and D plus 1 is happening and that's how it's moving to this. Similarly here you can do P plus 1, P, Q, P, Q, Q after Q, R, L, M. So it will be Q, R, M. Right? So things like that. Now what happens is that there could be three scenarios and I have put together 10 questions for practice in this video which we will uh, attempt. So one is on the basis of the letter series that means a letter being replaced by another letter. So that's one right. So it could be in terms of plus one it could also be minus one. So for example if they say D E is becoming as let's say C D. So they're saying now can you tell what PL will be replaced as right so again here what happened there's a minus one minus one that happened right so it could be plus one it could be minus one it could be plus one minus one plus one uh, minus one and so on and so forth there could be plus two minus two or minus two plus two so these are the different variables that happens right so that's one case now I have seen when it comes to coding decoding questions, people sometimes write A to Z in their notebook. I would say that's a waste of time. Okay, even if you want to do that, do that maybe before the time starts. So for example, if you have the luxury to, if you have the rough notebook or let's say a rough paper and before the time starts of the aptitude test, you can then write and that also I would say you write it in this format. The reason I am writing this here for you is that you should understand that the place value of this is 1 right uh, and the place value of z is for example 26 here right a b is written as say z y so can you tell me what e f will be written as so what you can do see how a is getting moved to z so basically what's the logic it's like reverse that means from a what is behind A, right? So after A, B comes, but what is behind A, right? So this is nothing but the Z, right? So similarly, the mapping could be this, like almost like diagonally opposite, right? So A to Z, B to Y, similarly, M would get replaced by N, right? And L would replace by O. So ultimately, what's the logic? Either you have written this in your notebook and you can look at that, or another logic also is that you see A's place value is 1. It is getting replaced by Z. Place value is how much? 26. B's place value is 2. It is replaced by Y. Y's place value is 25. What you can also note is that every time if the reversal is happening, A plus whatever it is getting replaced by, so let's say it is A and Z, the total of A plus Z place value would always be 27. 26 plus 1. So similarly, if somebody tells you let's say h is getting replaced okay so what is the place value of h this is 8 right and 8 plus how much is 27 that means the other has to be uh, 19 right so 19 who is at 19 place value right so you can say this is 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 s right so h is h s so it could be like that so that's one way to remember 
what's the other way to remember other way to remember is in case you want to remember the place value one logic could be you remember this e j o t y that means i remember when i was preparing for cat myself i used to know this so how it helps so e is at the fifth place this is at the 10th place this is at the 15th place this is at the 20th place and this is at the 25th place so i have seen people remembering from a to z also like a's place value is this and you ask them randomly what is the place value of k and they can tell you it's 11 but i am saying you should not remember 1 to 26 i mean i'm not sure if it has a high return of investment so instead of remembering from all the 26 alphabets at least if you remember e j o t y e j o t right so just if you remember this you would know these are all at 5 10 so let's say you ask me a question let's say somebody ask randomly okay what is the place value of k so i know e j j is at 10th place so k would be 11 if somebody ask you let's say randomly okay tell me what is q so how do we remember q we don't start from a we will say k l m n o p q o p q okay so you say o is at 15th place so q would be at 17th place so this is one fast way to remember so two tricks here one this e j o t y so that we remember the place value of this second if you have time before don't do this uh, in between the aptitude test that means when your exam has started but before that if you could write maybe these 26 letters 13 in one row and you know another 13 in another row so what will happen is that you can easily replace and see okay if the reverse you know logic is getting applied so ultimately plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 and you know these kind of things or it could be a reversal that happens in the letter series okay uh, let's move to some questions right to attempt actually right how things are working okay so let's attempt close to four questions on the letter series let's look at the first question it says triple is written as s q h o o k d okay so p p is here and this becomes o so okay t is becoming s so can you see some logic e is becoming d right so this is very very obvious that mean what happening is this is becoming minus 1 on every letter isn't it because after s what comes p q r s t q r e f g h i so minus 1 is happening on all so therefore for dispose will be written in that code as how so you do minus 1 so either you look at the options right so now you have none of these so while you can easily reject that after d before d it should d it should convert to minus 1 so e cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer right so the only option is this or none of these so if you do minus 1 on all you can easily get this answer okay now let's look at the other but you have to do all these letters because there is also none of these if none of these was not there i could have easily marked this here right i need not calculate all i could have just looked at first letter and could have marked okay let's look at the second question the second question says in a certain code clear is written as this okay okay so from c s it cannot move right it's going ahead but here it's going minus that means some other trend is there right so this is e it's becoming f right so this is 1 plus but here it's going first plus and then minus right the other very simple thing to note is that after c what comes d comes after l what comes k l m right after a what comes b comes after r what comes s so while you have the same letters but they are in this direction that means what they are doing is they are doing a plus 1 on everything the middle one is here only where is c plus 1 d l plus 1 m a plus 1 b and r plus 1 s so that means they are doing a plus 1 but they are replacing the positions right they are sort of moving to diagonally opposite words similarly can we see the same in bonds k l m n o so this also same thing but d is not moving that side d is moving this side right so how would stale be written as right so if you were to write let's say stale in the same fashion how will you write a will become plus 1 b here only right after l what comes k l m e what comes e f p q r s t q r s t u right so like that f m b u t f m b u t okay so this is the answer extremely simple so we did just a plus 1 and replace the positions right okay let's look the at the next one monkey is written as x j d m n l okay l n m j d 
x x right so if you see words are the same but it's just the placement has changed right so they are saying this is actually becoming x d j m n l this is the logic right this is how it's moving right so from y you do minus 1 x right so similarly if you look at here how is tiger written as that so tiger so m was moving to minus 1 but towards this side so tiger would move p q r s t u p q r r s t s so s would be this side right s is where this side it's not here so this is out right okay r r is moving to p q q so q has to be the side right so q and s q and s so only one option right so we will not check for other things we'll just mark it here right so minus was what happening and the place is getting changed okay in a certain code delhi is written as w v o s r okay this is actually if you notice this is very far away that means it could be the reversal happening right so either we could go and check from that table of 13 this thing and 13 written here or you can say place value what is the place value of d is 4 isn't it e is 5 right l is k l m n o so j k l j is 10 so k and l l would be 12 right h e f g h e is 5 f g h meaning this is right 8 h i i is 9 so that means what's happening is that the place value would change right so let's check what is the place value of w w x y z that means 23 right now if you check 23 plus 4 is how much 27 so same logic right let me check one more right k l m n o Now E J O A we know O is at fifteenth place. That means if we have to check if this is the same logic, we should know that this place should also be twelve because adding adding up should be twenty seven. That means yes. So this is all the reversal. So we know now the logic. Now we can put the same thing here. So so now what is the place value of P? I mean no P. That means this is sixteen, right? U would be how much? The P Q R S T U. U U is 21, right? That means you will just replace it because there is none of these. We will have to calculate all four. If none of these was not there, we could have simply marked the option here only, right? N is how much? Kill him, no. N O. So that means 14. And E E would be five, five. So if this has to become whatever the reversal, the addition which should be 27. So that means we are looking at the place value of 11. We are looking at place value of six. right from reverse we are looking at place value of 13 we are looking at place value of 22 here 11th place here yeah, 11th place is nothing but k okay yeah okay what is the next place 6 6 is how much your f 13 so j k l m right and then 20 uh, 5 so this is 22 who is at 22nd place uh, p q r s t u v that means k f m v k f okay see k f v m it is there not m v so that means this is wrong right none of these so this is how we could attempt this question so now that we have seen the four questions on uh, letter series and how alphabets are getting replaced by another alphabet uh, in the next uh, video on coding decoding i will take you through how letters could be replaced by numbers or symbols so thanks for watching uh, this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next video on coding decoding